Okay, before the attacks come and you attack me, let me give a disclaimer. First off, I am totally against any type of trafficking of children, abuse of children. I always have a strict guideline. I think that the law should be strict as possible. Life sentences with no parole for any trafficker, anyone that's charged with any rape of a child, even rape of a woman. I think it should be life with no parole. So let's start as we talk about this movie here that everyone's been talking about. And I sat there and watched, I was laying in the bed and I saw the video of Alan Parr come across of this box hit movie, The Sound of Freedom. And he talked about his, uh, uh, how is a movie you must watch. And I would listen to what he was saying, but something just didn't feel right in my spirit when I was heard about the movie because instantly my antennas went up. Because many of my subscribers, many of you that follow me, you know that we talk about issues the church went away from and expose Satan and his devices. And we talk about these Christian nationalists and a lot of these QAnon type people. And then I thought I said, trafficking, what's going on with that? So it caused me to explore a little bit. And as I've explored, I said, oh boy. Remember, those of you that's been following me, I told you that the devil is going to step, step his tactics up and that he's getting ready to do things in a different manner because he's, he's on a rampage. And sure enough, sex trafficking is a bad thing. And it's very bad. Don't get me wrong. And I think, you know, more needs to be done about it. We can't do everything around the world because we can't control the other governments around the world the, uh, uh, but we can't control what we can do here in the United States. But let's look. Listen to my argument. This is going to be part one of a video. Stay with me. And then I put your, you know, what you got to say, comments, questions to me. But give me a chance. And I want you, especially if you're a Christian, if you're a Christian, give me a chance, hear me out, and then we will, you know, make your determination. You can make your determination at that point. Am I wrong or where am I going with this? But the guy, you know, I have right here, I, I had, didn't have enough time to really write out. Many of you know I write my notes out, but I had to print out some things. And I'm going to put the links in there for you guys from this research. I, I had to get this message out because everyone is reeling and, and can't wait to go see this movie and all of this stuff. But be cautious. Be, be, listen to me. Why I say be cautious? Because this right here, I'm just going to go through some things. I'm not going to go through it all. This guy right here, Tim Ballard, the guy that supposed that he, he worked for the uh, um, Homeland Security agent and was the founder of this underground operation, uh, underground railroad deal to save, uh, uh, go around the world or so and trafficking to help save children and things. This guy right here, him, him. And then let me show you the, the other person's picture at. The other guy, Jim. Well, you know who you're talking about. The guy, Jim, that plays the that plays Tim. These two guys, both of them. I can't find this picture on here. But anyway, I'll show it to you. It, it should pop up on the screen there. But these two guys are conspiracy believers. They're queuing on. Did you? If you don't know that now, Alan Parr is a channel. His channel. His subscribers. A lot of them. They're his channel is just a Bible teaching channel, talks about things like that. My channel, I'm more so, my channel focuses on false teachers and Satan's trickery and his nasty tactics. And it, my antennas, the, it went up when I heard this. Because this, these people, the Ballard guy that I just showed you, he was part of the conspiracy saying Wayfair was putting uh, children uh, uh, packing up children and shipping, you know, trafficking, and they were trafficking children. That's what he said. That's what he's talking about. And then says something about the fact that it's a, it's a, it's a blessing, kind of, well, some of the conspiracies is a blessing because then it opens people's eyes to other things. That's what he says. Then the guy, Jim, that plays the role of this Tim, and I won't get into, and if you go through and read some of the stuff that I give you in the links, there, this underground operation of some of the movie is a lot exaggerated because a lot of this stuff hasn't been able was un, not confirmed as far as all of the numbers and some of the things he did. 
That's a whole nother video, a uh, topic or whatever for you guys to study on your own. But the gym guy, he's way out there. That's why he has spoke at QAnon uh, 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 events. And for those of you that might not know what QAnon is, it's right here. If you uh, hit the links in there, I'm going to have this in here. This is right here. Kind of gives you the QAnon beliefs, some of their things, because most Americans, they don't know. So if you just listen to some of the basic Bible teaching channels, some of the regular stuff, they don't talk about that. So if you don't come across it, you don't know. I just did a video about false pastor Greg Locke, and he's talking about uh, Copeland and uh, 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 Joe Osteen and all of this trafficking and all this pedophilia. That he's a believer in that, this stuff. But let me show you this small amount QAnon belief. Let me give you some of their beliefs. Because this guy, Jim, this is what he believes. The actor that's playing Tim Ballard. This is some of their the conspiracy beliefs. One of the ones that's not on here is really outlandish. Is where they believe that JFK is still alive. And, and they just recently, during the anniversary or his birthday or something, they went there to Dallas, Texas, believing that he's going to show up. These people. And this is some of their beliefs. They believe the global network of torture and sexually abused children is a satanic rituals. They believe uh, vaccinations with tracking chips will, will be later activated in 5G cellular networks. They believe Trump is secretly preparing the mass arrests of government officials and celebrities. They believe Mueller was actually investigating child sex trafficking network and celebrities harvest adrenochrome uh, from children's bodies. Now, there's a guy... Um, can't think of his name right now. I'm going to show you the clip. Uh, Owen, uh, he has a channel. He's an atheist guy, but he deals because I think he used to be a Jehovah Witness or something like that. But he exposes all of these people within Jehovah Witnesses, all of these false teachers, but really a lot of the QAnon people. I'm going to show you this clip of Julie Green and listen to what she says. And then remember what I just told you about some of the beliefs that they're talking about here. For her crimes against my nation and the blood is dripping from her hands she loves to drink the little children's blood okay just saying that about somebody is psychotic i'm sorry what is wrong with you that that's on your mind 24 7 that people are doing that that's just weird and i feel like it reveals something about you and your beliefs and feelings and ideas that you, you would come up with something like that. This is a QAnon belief system that she's espousing right now. The claim that, you know, Hillary Clinton and Huma Abedin and Anthony Weiner and a bunch of other Democratic Congress members or even presidents or whoever else are like drinking blood and, you know, kidnapping kids and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Absolutely zero evidence for it. None. Not one shred. But they claim that they heard this from God himself. That's all the evidence they need, I guess. By drinking this blood, they believe they will receive a longer life. Just completely made up. That does not contribute to a longer life. Drinking blood is really bad for you. You should not do that. Yes, a true witch. She really is. She was part of sacrifice in the children to Baal. She loved murdering for him. Well, now she will pay the ultimate price with her life. And her life is not is now over. For the facts against you and the baby she killed, along with giving money from her bills to help with trafficking the children, and of course to finance Epstein Island and that lifestyle. Just so much, dude. So much here. Like, where do I even start? Every last bit of this is just QAnon nonsense. All of it. It is all complete garbage. And and see, and as you can see, that's their belief system that somehow these kids are being sacrificed and they believe that Democrats are really behind all of this stuff and they're being sacrificed and their blood being drinking and organs harvested, harvest. So if somehow that they can, celebrities and politicians, some of these Democratic politicians or whoever, they can live longer. That's what this guy, Jim, supports. He goes and, and he's been out there. So how ironic is it that a child trafficking movie comes out and here you have two people 
that just so happen to be QAnon believers. And there's a lot of false prophets and teachers out there, I've talked about them, that teach this stuff. How ironic. You see it? You see the trap that the devil has laid? Because you know how what the trap is? The trap is, okay, yeah, we're angry about the children. You know, we've been angry for this for a while, all of this stuff. See, but the devil has taken this. Yeah, I got you angry, this, that, and that. You're, you know, you're rally up, rile up, and you're uh, 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 form together. And it's an easy way to get you sucked in with some preacher, false preacher, false prophet, false event. You end up there with these people that are false teachers. And I'll show you that some of them as they come across the screen right now, where they always talking about the military arrest. Those of you that are new and watching this, when I was in Florida on a cruise, on a cruise, I met one of these types of people on in a, uh, when we were sitting there talking, told me at that time that there was getting ready to be mass arrests. That Biden and Kamala Harris and all of these people were getting ready to be arrested. By the time we get back off the ship, the arrest beat didn't happen. And I said, really? Is that going to really happen? And this was back back a few years ago, right after the election. And stuff. So this is what's going on. So these guys, so great as it's, it, it may appear from the surface. Uh, and, and, and like I said, you do the research. It's not all what they said it is to be on some of these things. But the thing is, how ironic that you got QAnon believers. And guess what? All the QAnon boards, all of the posts, the dark web and all of that, they're praising this movie. They are praising this movie and all of this stuff. And so many, and these are the same, and we're going to talk about in another video, part two, about the... Um, the studio that pushed this movie out and they also were behind chosen as well and uh what's the name of that studio angel angel studios we're going to talk about angel studios we're going to talk about them and how that is still a trick and trap from the devil so proceed with caution be angry about trafficking but we will talk about the studio. We will talk about the Angel Studios and how the devil is utilizing what he's doing with that. Because this is, the, this is a tricky route their devil's going. So everyone's riled up. Everyone's hyped up about the movie. Get angry. We should be angry. You be angry at the politicians here that are not getting to take a uh, uh, enforce it. Uh, that's, Taking the law, there's so much that we can do with laws to enforce things. Like I said, life sentences with no parole, period. These people, most of them cannot be these perverted type folks, the ones that, that, that abuse and, and, and all of this crazy stuff with children. A lot of them, they can't be, they can't be, uh, uh, um, um, you know, uh, uh, rehabilitated is what I'm looking for. They can't be in most cases. It takes a divine, really, a divine work of the Holy Spirit to be able to transform a person like that. Not saying it can't be done, but I, the, lot, it, the numbers are not great for these people in being rehabilitated. And this is the thing. So enjoy the movie if that's what you want to do or whatever. But just remember, there's a Julie Green. There's others like them. Oh, that these conspiracy people out here, the same ones that are pushing nationalism, the one that is pushing lies and all kinds of conspiracies, they want you at one of their events. They want you to come to one of their churches. They want you to hold hands and pray with them. And you know what? If you do that, you are in, uh, uh, in rebellion with God because God does not stand by these liars and these types of people that are out here abusing, using, lying in his name. And on this channel, we'll continue to call it out. We'll continue to talk about issues the church went away from. We'll continue to punch Satan right in between his chops. Evangelism for God is a channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. Hit like, coming along for the journey. My name is Maurice Braxton. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.